Let us get right to the Miller Lite Jersey Central Newsmaker Hotline for a recap of the weekend that was in the pro football season. Week 14 already behind us. And here to uh, recap, let's welcome back the general manager, Ray Katina Mercedes-Benz of Edison. Doug Wells uh, back with us today. Good morning, Doug. How you doing today? Good morning, Bert. How are you? I'm good, man. Staying warm and uh, and making things happen as usual. I'm sure you are, too. Uh, before we look back at football, uh, what kind of uh, vehicle are you driving today with the uh, Mercedes-Benz on it? Driving a 2019 S560. It's the ultimate luxury sedan. So. Sounds nice. I like it. All right. Yeah, good stuff. And these are in stock at the dealership now? These are in stock at the dealership. Beautiful. Hustle on over there. Talk to Doug and his guys. And December is a great time to uh, to make a, a buy or a lease, Doug. That December is a great month to do so, isn't it? It's our busiest month. It's the winter event. And uh, it's, uh, you know, people come in, they get their cars they want, they get great deals, and uh, and we have fun doing it. That's it. That's how it's done. So uh, get on over there, Route 1 North uh, in Edison. Talk to Doug and his guys. There's some great deals waiting for you there. All right, Bob, before we look back at the picks, uh, Doug, uh, congratulations to you. And I'm just about ready to, to kind of wave the white flag on our competition here because I am now a full 10 games behind with just a couple weeks left to go. So uh, if you had your, your heart set on that steak dinner, I, I think you and our winner is going to get it. Uh, nine wins uh, for you in the week gone by. Uh, I had eight wins in week 14. Congratulations to Joe in Monroe Township, who was 12 out of 16. And uh, he was our winner this week. And, of course, we're playing for that great grand prize. A lot of upsets this week, Doug. And uh, I think that's what got you and got me and even got Joe from Monroe, our winner. Uh, Some massive, massive upsets this week. Uh, Miami beating New England on that crazy last play. Did you see how that game ended on Sunday? I I did. I couldn't believe it. What were they calling that? uh, Finn Sanity or something? Or the miracle, the Miami miracle or something they were calling that? But... Uh, Dolphins keeping their season alive uh, with a big win uh, at home over the Patriots. Uh, another upset, uh, Indianapolis goes to Houston and snaps their long uh, winning streak. Something about that Colts team, Doug. You, you, I don't think anybody wants to play them if they happen to get one of those wild card spots. When Andrew Luck is healthy, that team still has a way to to just kind of beat everybody. Uh, Carolina, <laughs> yeah, Carolina losing uh, another upset at Cleveland. Uh, here we go, another cat team uh, that got all of us this time. Uh, Denver losing at San Francisco, Pittsburgh losing at Oakland. What's with the upsets, Doug? Why are there so many this time of year? I could not believe how many there were. At least four, if not five. It was crazy. And and those would have been pick'em games, all of them in my eyes. Yeah, you're right. They would have. Uh, Just crazy. This was a tough week. Uh, Some of the other games... Uh, Jets uh, beating Buffalo. Uh, I didn't see that that win coming out. I didn't think the Jets had another win in them at all this year, Doug. The rest of their schedule is is very difficult. But uh, did you like? Did you see any of the Jet game? And did you like what you saw from uh, from Sam Darnold? I think he's hurt again, but uh, he managed to get to get the Jets to a victory. Yeah, it's just they got a lot of work to do in the off season, and they've got to get a couple of key players for the team. Uh, you know, get every win you can. It's, it just seems like they've got they've got a, they've got some talent on the team. They just don't seem to organize it all the time. Yeah, maybe a coaching change. Well, we'll see how it goes for the end of the year. Uh, Giants, oh, what an what an effort for the Giants. You know, if only uh, Odell Beckham sat out all year, maybe that's the problem, right? He doesn't play. And look at the big numbers they put up. Impressive win uh, at Washington, uh, Doug. There's people saying the Giants, uh, are, after going one and seven, could possibly finish the season eight and eight. What do you think? I. I I told you they were a better team than everybody expected. They just, uh, you know, and, and I, and I, if I picked the Giants, I went with my heart. Yeah, and uh, I think they had a forty nothing lead at one point in this game. Uh, this one wasn't even close for a team that was supposed to be competing for the division title. And uh, Washington, that's a that's a bad loss for them. Uh, Saints uh, avenged an early season loss uh, against Tampa. Uh, they go to Tampa Bay and. Uh, not only do they win, they wrap up a division title for the second year in a row. Uh, nobody wants to play this Saints team, Doug. Everybody in that NFC has to be afraid of New Orleans. Uh, I agree. Um, but the Saints started off that game a little slow. Everybody thought that they were going to lose. Yeah, so. after Dallas held them to 10 points the week before. But, uh, yeah, they bounced back and uh, and got a big win, and uh, they are headed to the playoffs for the second year in a row. Uh, just a matter of time, too, for Kansas City to uh, wrap up a playoff spot, uh, which they did by getting the win over Baltimore. 
But, man, you were right. Uh, that was an overtime game. And uh, that Ravens team, uh, they they play a tough defense. And uh, that quarterback, he's an exciting guy, too. Uh, I don't think anybody wants to play the Ravens. But something about Kansas City, Doug, still concerns me. They, they always have this... You know, they have this great season, they get to the playoffs, and it's like they just don't show up. I I, I don't know if they, that Kansas City team is going to do that again this year. Um, we shall see. It's all good. I remember, the team I think you also got to watch out for is the San Diego Chargers. Yeah, and they play on Thursday in Kansas City, so that's uh, that's a big matchup right there. I, I think the Chargers will uh, easily get one of those wild card spots, but you never know. And uh, if there's a game that Kansas City is going to lose at home, it could be this Thursday against uh, the Chargers, and we'll, we'll talk about that when we get to our preview later in the week. Uh, Green Bay, I thought Green Bay, with the coach being dismissed and all kinds of disarray in the team there, boy, the Falcons must be real bad because uh, they, they didn't even uh, barely showed up against uh, Green Bay. Uh, Green Bay is coming to Jersey in a couple weeks to, for a game against the Jets, but uh, the future of the Packers are saying that Aaron Rodgers, uh, Doug, gets paid so much money that they don't have any money to bring in any other players to bring in, you know, experienced receivers and veteran guys. It's going to be Aaron Rodgers and a bunch of uh, young players for the next co- couple of years that they say could be some bad seasons uh, for the Packers. You, you think maybe Aaron Rodgers will leave Green Bay at some point? Well, let's see if Aaron Rodgers does what Brady has done multiple times. Brady is not the highest paid player, mm-hmm. and he sh- and he should be. And uh, and he's given up money on the contracts to get other players. Yeah. That's so. how it's done. Yeah. Yep. You're right. So, yeah, uh, we'll see if that's what's going to happen there. I don't know. Uh, that That's the, the thing, too, about uh, when you look at the NBA and the San Antonio Spurs, those guys never made a ton of money because they wanted to bring in great players. And look at all the championship rings they have. So. That's the formula. Maybe that's the way to go there. But uh, we'll see what happens with the future there of Green Bay. Uh, We were talking about the Chargers. uh, No problem over Cincinnati. Uh, I was actually able to uh, pick the Chargers and not uh, bound by taking the cat team that week. So that uh, that helped me out. Uh, Dallas over Philadelphia. That might have been the best game of the weekend. Uh, Dallas for real, Doug. Are they going to do some damage in the playoffs if they get there? Um, I think that they're starting to find their own. I still think that their quarterback uh, sometimes he seems like the quarterback under pressure <laughs> always gets himself in a bind. You know, the previous quarterback, the same thing. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. You know, they can, when it's when it's the pressure games, you know, and it, and it's everything's on the line. You find out what you're made of real it's quick. True, very true. And Dallas, uh, their season uh, finale is in Jersey against the Giants, so uh, that should be very interesting when we get to Week 17. Uh, Detroit goes to Arizona, no problem over the Cardinals. Uh, two teams that really aren't going anywhere this year. Uh, good Sunday night game. Uh, Bears beating the Rams, and uh, we knew that the Rams, uh, Doug, would have trouble going into a cold weather game against a very good team. Uh, the last thing the Rams want to do is have to go play a road playoff game against a team like the Bears. Um, uh, did you like what you saw from Chicago? Were they the real deal this year too? Yeah, Chicago played extremely well. Like I couldn't believe they lost the week before. Um, you know, so Chicago has got an incredible defense. Their offense is 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 on point, and uh, I just think they're just a really good all around team. Yeah, yeah. So they could beat anybody at any given time. Bringing in Khalil Mack and adding him to that defense has been nothing but uh, but thumbs up for them since they got him. But boy, you look back uh, a loss to the Giants, uh, an opening night loss to the Packers. Uh, if they could have found a way and they had a huge lead that first night against Green Bay, if they could have held on to win that game. That might have been the difference between getting the first week of the playoffs off or having to play, but we'll see what happens. And uh, last night's game, uh, that 12th, uh, man, that was the difference there. Seattle beating Minnesota. These are the two teams that are kind of the front runners for the wild card. And uh, I think Seattle, much like Baltimore, is uh, one of these teams, Doug, that nobody wants to play when the playoffs come. I agree with that, especially. <laughs> Sorry. Bless you. Thank you. Especially if. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I'm fighting the cold, especially if um, 
they got plenty of the games in Seattle. Yeah, yeah, that'll be tough. But uh, we'll see what happens with that. Of course, get your picks in. Week 15, just around the corner. It starts with a real nice game on Thursday with uh, the Chargers visiting the Chiefs, a big uh, AFC West matchup. And uh, that's a great way to kind of kick off Week 15. But get your picks in at WCTCAM.com. It's free. The season-long competition continues between Doug and I and, of course, through all of our players. Regular season winner is going to score a remote control car, a courtesy of Doug at uh, Ray Katina Mercedes Benz of Edison. And uh, it looks like a dinner courtesy of me for uh, for Doug and for myself and for our winner and a guest. So that's kind of where I think we're headed now that I'm behind by 10 games, but uh, we will see. Uh, Doug Wells, Ray Katina Mercedes Benz of Edison. Feel better, my man. Great talking to you. And uh, we'll chat Thursday with our preview picks. All right. Yeah, thank you.